Hey there, um, today I'm going to show you how to play Iron Maiden's The Number of the Beast, and it's one of my all-time favorite songs, so it's pretty cool. Um, the song is in standard tuning, and um, the intro... <laughs> Um, it's pretty easy. Um, make sure you're loose for the song, you know, and don't get all tightened up because you have a lot of these to do. Um, and it starts out on the 5th fret of the A string, strum it three times, then the 4th fret of the D string, then to the 5th fret of the A string, then the 5th fret of the D string, then back to the 5th fret of the A string. And then you make a power chord with your first finger on the 5th fret of the A string and your 3rd finger on the 7th fret of the D string. And you play both of them together. And you play, um, you do the chord and then only the A string, um, three times. I'm oh, sorry, two times. Um, you do that four times, so... And then on the fifth time, you only do the power chord once. And then, um, and then you go back to this. And you do it again. So you do the whole thing three times. And then on the third time, instead of going back to the... You do the same thing, except that your middle finger is on the third fret of the A string. So it's third fret, second fret of the D string, then third fret of the A string, third fret of the D string, and then third fret of the A string. And then, um, and then you make it the same, the same type pattern, except your power chord is with your first finger on the third fret of the A string, and your ring finger is on the fifth fret of the D string. Same thing, play it four times, and then on the fifth time, do that. But then you're going to jump up to the original power chord um, pattern. And you do that again, and you do that whole thing that I just said, like, um, three times. I'm not going to play that for you, because that would take up way too much time. But, the, but that's after the intro and all the verse. And then it goes, um, it goes to this thing. Which is pretty simple. It's a power chord with um, the third string included. So it's a power chord on the same place as your original one, with your first finger on the fifth fret of the A string, third finger on the seventh fret of the D string, and pinky on the seventh fret of the G string. And you play it five times quickly. Then you pause for like half a second, and then you play it again. And you let it ring out. And do it again. Move your power chord down a whole step so that your first finger is on the third fret of the A string, and do it five times, and then back up, and then you go straight into the verse, which is um, a power chord with your first finger on the fifth fret of the A string and third finger on the seventh fret of the D string. Um, and that's. That is... wait, wait a second. Okay, um... What that is... Is, um, it's... The verse is like that power chord. You do this chord twice, and then the fifth fret of the A string. And then, okay, so you do it twice, and then once on the power chord, then to the fifth fret, you do it twice, and then, um, and then after that you do it two more times, but only hitting the power chord once. So it sounds like this. And then, um, then you hit the full power chord. four times you can do that whole thing that I just said three times and on the third time you go down to the A string with um, 
second fret and hammer on to the third fret. And you play the third fret a bunch of times. And then you pull off from the third to, to the second to open. And then you do it again, and you do that twice, I think. And then, um, for the chorus, you do that power chord, and then open A string, and then uh, power chord with your first finger on the third fret of the A string, and then uh, you play it a couple times, three times, and then um, what I do is I move my first finger just over one fret, so it's, it's on the second fret, uh, four times. Then back up so that your first finger is on the third fret. You play it a couple times, and then um, move it up a whole step back to the original power chord. And then you start the verse again. Um, and that whole thing is, it's not too complicated to play, but uh, it's, um, it's uh, you gotta you gotta really listen to learn for the rhythm. Do it again. And then do the chorus again. And then, um, well, I'll, I'll tell you the next part next time. And that time I'm going to tell you this part. And the solo. Um, and the rest of the song. Except for the um, second solo. I don't know how to do that yet. But um, thanks for watching. And please comment and rate.